Thank you for tuning in this episode of Let's Go Channel Surfing. Uh, our boat has a Wabasto Airtop 2000 STC diesel heater. Uh, that's what it came with from the factory. It works really well in keeping us warm on the boat and it greatly extends our boating season as a result. However, the controls and the temperature sensor are not in an ideal location for operation. They're located in the cave at about knee height. Thus, if I set the temperature to 72 degrees, it'll make the cabin like a thousand degrees. Um, wouldn't it be great if I could just control the heater from my phone using Bluetooth? In this video, we're going to go over how to do exactly that. This information also applies to the Obasto Evo 40 diesel heater, which is found in some of the larger Ranger, uh, Ranger Tug and Cut water boats. In addition, we're also, we'll also discuss switching to kerosene instead of diesel, which is an advantage of having a gas-powered Northwest edition from Ranger Tug and Cut water boats. We actually have, because we've got a gas tank for the main engines, there's actually a five gallon um, tank for diesel on the boat as well that's specific for the Wabasto heater. So it makes it easy to swap out from running just basic marine diesel over to kerosene, which burns cleaner. We'll talk more about that. Uh, a question I often um, hear is, how much fuel does the heater actually use? On some of the newer boats, there's actually a gauge, and the older boats don't have a gauge. That's why people ask this. For those of us with a diesel tank on our gasoline boat for the heater, how many times a year do you fill up your diesel tank? Please leave your answer in the comment section below. And if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and hit the like button. It really helps us out. And I'll start first. Um, we generally fill our diesel tank up two to three times a year. Um, however, now that I can turn it on easily with my phone, I suspect my uh, usage is going to like double. So I'm expecting to have to fill that tank up a lot more often in the coming year. And with that, let's get started. So I've been looking to solve this problem for quite some time and the box came in today. Actually, yesterday. Definitely. So open this up. September of 2022, Robosto actually came out with a Bluetooth sensor, oh. right? There's a wiring harness that comes off of the Wabasto heater that gets ran back because the heater is always in a not easy, not to get at easy location. Um, so the harness comes off and they changed the harness style for the new, the new smart, called the smart, smart temp um, controller. So there's a little pigtail that you have to buy as well. Altogether, this was 240 bucks and the cable was, I don't know, like another, it was like 260 bucks total for, for both of them. But this gives me all the same functionality that I have today. There's nothing new added other than Bluetooth to my phone. So we're going to go ahead today and we're going to swap this out and then we're going to play with it and see how well it works. I'm going to pop these little covers off to expose the screws. Now you do right here is a little, take a flathead, they just slide straight out. And then there's the screw holes that hold it in. And one thing I want to point out right now <laughs> is this probably takes a screwdriver bit that you may not have at home. That is a super small square drive, super small technical term. <laughs> sure you have that for you start. Twenty twenty one and newer boats came with a uh, fuel gauge for the diesel. I'm not quite sure how accurate it is. It definitely is better than than having no gauge, but uh, we went and recently um, switched over to kerosene from diesel. Kerosene is actually a more purified form of diesel, so it burns cleaner, less soot, less smell. Um, when you do um, when you do kerosene, this is what I put into the diesel tank. You can mix it with the diesel that's there. Um, nothing wrong with that either. Um, I wanted to burn out as much of the diesel as I could before putting this in the tank. So I, I went and ran this until it was at 
an eighth of a tank you can have slow stampy and it took two and a half gallons into the tank that got it back up to full so it's uh, and for a five gallon tank <clears throat> it's probably not calibrated well on the low end of it but it's still nice to have have a gauge and you can figure you'll get at least 20 hours of burn for every gallon of, of uh, diesel that's in there. <clears throat> but it's one of the advantages, I mean, it's a gasoline boat, so uh, to get fuel for the Robosto heater, I've got to have a dedicated diesel tank. The diesel tank's actually behind the, uh, it's over next to the stove, actually behind the stove with a fuel pump over there for it. Um, one thing I'll say also on the fuel is there's a... Um, uh, kerosene alternative out there, clean heat. I've read the fine print on it. Um, it's like liquefied wax because the Wabasto heater is actually a diesel engine. Um, I don't, I don't know if it would work or not, but I wouldn't risk it. Um, it actually just runs straight kerosene. All right, Plan B. Hop this out of the way because you got to get your hands back here. And there's the harness. There's the connector, and there's the zip tie. I just want to cut the zip tie. the end of the Obasto harness. There's the connector that goes to the old smart temp controller. Ta-da! And the new, new controller, different connectors, obviously don't fit, so you've got to get the adapter to go with it. that and run these two through the hole and there we go and use it back shakes, rattles, and rolls, so it's important to not have things just flopping around when you're bouncing around in the waves. First thing is asking for what model heater? 150, the 190, the TT Evo, the AT, which would be Airtop 40 slash 55 Evo. Um, I know Cutwater, the older Cutwater 30s have those. I would assume the uh, Ranger Truck 29 and 31 have those. I know the R23, 25, and 27 have the Airtop 2000 STC. So we're going to pick that. Right. And now to go hook it up to Bluetooth. That's the only reason why I did this. Smart Temp 3.0 is the app. Use Bluetooth. I agree. I understand. There it found one. New connect. Access code. It wants another one on the screen. Make sure I'm not doing my neighbors. <laughs> you could control their heat. Yeah. You turn it on, you say, nope, not today. Check that out. Da -da. Picture of the heater right there. So 
Now all the settings you can do all within here. So you can set mode for uh, whether you want just heating or ventilation. Obviously I've set to heat, duration, I have continuous, uh, low voltage. So I'm gonna turn the low voltage on. Should be 11, I'd say probably 11.5 for, for HEM. Since I've got lithium, I need to do 12, um, actually 12.2. 12.1 volts. Uh, date and time. So it's got brake signal, uh, brake input signal. That's an interesting feature. Uh, a lot of people run these in their vans. So that's like if your parking brakes enabled to, you know, would have to be enabled to use the heater. Doesn't apply to both, but interesting. Uh, heater model. We don't have a parking brake? <laughs> I'm going to give it a name. Oh, channel searching feet. Differentiate me on the dock with anybody else who might have one of these. And here's only the truth what I'm after. So, turn the heater on, set the temperature. 66 degrees to save look at that I didn't have to touch it and I have a timer I can set you know, timer when I want it turned on turn off this would be really nice to set a timer so you wake up in the morning and it's nice and toasty in the, in the boat I will use that feature a lot also gives me engine voltage or, um, house voltage battery bank too and current temperature 59 degrees set temperature is a 66 degrees <laughs> there it goes. And the heater is warming up. And then I want to cover the screws. Put a little covers back on. You can still operate it normally with the dial like you always did. It's the same functionality as the as the old heater, the only thing they did was they just added the Bluetooth functionality to it. So. Which is pretty cool because now you can do it while we're in bed and you don't have to get up. That way I can make coffee faster. Yep. Alright, so who did I buy it from? I bought it online as I do most things. I did buy it from a, I believe they're an authorized uh, Wabasto um, dealer. Um, they're actually out of, I think it's Florida. Um, doesn't matter. Um, uh, out, VanLifeOutfitters.com just like it's in vanlifeoutfitters.com, so I purchased it from. <clears throat> okay. And they've got the adapter and all that stuff. It's all just added to your cart. It's all easy. Well, simple enough. Probably the quickest upgrade you've done. <laughs> so we can add this to my uh, new favorite list of boating apps. Just turn the heater off and you have a fan going to let it cool down. There it goes, starting to cool down. I'm loving this already. So we usually don't like to uh, run the heater at night because uh, when we're sleeping we hear the uh, the fuel pump running. It's like good thunk, good thunk. It's really quiet um, of a pump, but it's really quiet also on the boat at night, especially in an anchorage um, or during the off season. So I usually turn it off, warm it up, go to bed, and then in the morning, got to get up, turn on the heater to take the chill off and stuff. So this would be nice not have to actually get out of bed just to bring my phone over and turn the heater on. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, you may also like the following upgrade videos. Stay tuned for more channel surfing. If you enjoyed watching this video, click the screen to watch another.